June 20th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, 1 Chronicles chapters 5 and 6 from the Old Testament. The sons of Reuben, Israel's firstborn. Now he was the firstborn, but when he defiled his father's bed, his rights as firstborn were given to the sons of Joseph, Israel's son. So Reuben is not listed as firstborn in the genealogical records. Though Judah was the strongest among his brothers, and a leader descended from him, the right of the firstborn belonged to Joseph. The sons of Reuben, Israel's firstborn, Hanak, Palu, Hezron, and Carmi, the descendants of Joel, his son Shimea, his son Gog, his son Shimei, his son Micah, his son Rhea, his son Baal, and his son Bera, whom King Tiglath Pileser of Assyria carried into exile. Bera was the tribal leader of Reuben. His brothers by their clans as listed in their genealogical records. The leader, Jael, Zechariah, and Bela, son of Azaz, son of Shema, son of Joel. They lived in Aurora as far as Nebo and Balmion. In the east they settled as far as the entrance to the desert that stretches to the Euphrates River, for their cattle had increased in numbers in the land of Gilead. During the time of Saul, they attacked the Hagrites and defeated them. They took over their territory in the entire eastern region of Gilead. The descendants of Gad lived near them in the land of Bashan, as far as Seleka. They included Joel the leader, Shapham the second in command, Janiah, and Shaphat in Bashan. Their relatives, listed according to their families, included Michael, Meshulam, Sheba, Jorai, Jachin, Zia, and Eber, seven in all. These were the sons of Abihail, son of Hurai, son of Jeroah, son of Gilead, son of Michael, son of Jeshishai, son of Jado, son of Buzz, Ahai, son of Abdiel, son of Giunai, was the leader of the family. They lived in Gilead, in Bashan, and its surrounding settlements, and in the pasture lands of Sharon to their very borders. All of them were listed in the genealogical records in the time of King Jotham of Judah, and in the time of King Jeroboam of Israel. The Reubenites, Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh had 44,760 men in their combined armies. Warriors who carried shields and swords were equipped with bows and were trained for war. They attacked the Hagrites, Jeter, Naphish, and Nodab. They received divine help in fighting them, and the Hagrites and all their allies were handed over to them. They cried out to God during the battle. He responded to their prayers because they trusted in him. They seized the Hagrites animals, including 50,000 camels, 250,000 sheep, and 2,000 donkeys. They also took captive 100,000 people. Because God fought for them, they killed many of the enemy. They dispossessed the Hagrites and lived in their land until the exile. The half-tribe of Manasseh settled in the land from Bashan, as far as Baal Hermon, Sinar, and Mount Hermon. They grew in number. These were the leaders of their families, Ephur, Ishai, Eliel, Azrael, Jeremiah, Hodavia, and Jadiel. They were skilled warriors, men of reputation, and leaders of their families. But they were unfaithful to the God of their ancestors, and worshipped instead the gods of the native peoples whom God had destroyed before them. So the God of Israel stirred up King Pol of Assyria, 
that is, King Tiglath Pileser of Assyria. And he carried away the Reubenites, Gadites, and half tribe of Manasseh, and took them to Hela, Habor, Hera, and the river of Gozan, where they remain to this very day. The sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Mirari, the sons of Kohath, Amram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uziel, the children of Amram, Aaron, Moses, and Miriam, the sons of Aaron, Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. Eleazar was the father of Phineas, and Phineas was the father of Abishu. Abishu was the father of Bacchae, and Bacchae was the father of Azai. Azai was the father of Zerahiah, and Zerahiah was the father of Meraioth. Meraioth was the father of Amariah, and Amariah was the father of Ahitub. Ahitub was the father of Zadok, and Zadok was the father of Ahimeaz. Ahimeaz was the father of Azariah, and Azariah was the father of Johanan. Johanan was the father of Azariah, who served as a priest in the temple Solomon built in Jerusalem. Azariah was the father of Amariah, and Amariah was the father of Ahitub. Ahitub was the father of Zadok, and Zadok was the father of Shalom. Shalom was the father of Hilkiah, and Hilkiah was the father of Azariah. Azariah was the father of Siraiah, and Siraiah was the father of Jehozadak. Jehozadak went into exile when the Lord sent the people of Judah and Jerusalem into exile by the hands of Nebuchadnezzar. The sons of Levi, Gershom, Kohath, and Mirari. These are the names of the sons Gershom, Libni, and Shimei, the sons of Kohath, Amram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uziel, the sons of Mirai, Malai, and Mushai. These are the clans of the Levites by their families, to Gershom, his son Libni, his son Jahath, his son Sima, his son Joah, his son Iddo, his son Zerah, and his son Jeatari, the sons of Kohath, his son Aminadab, his son Korah, his son Aser, his son Elkanah, his son Abisaph, his son Aser, his son Tehath, his son Uriel, his son Uzziah, and his son Shal, the sons of Elkanah, Amasai, Ahimoth, his son Elkanah, his son Zophai, his son Nahath, his son Eliab, his son Jeroham, and his son Elkanah, the sons of Samuel, Joel the firstborn, and Abijah the second oldest, the descendants of Mirari, Malai, his son Libni, his son Shimei, his son Uzzah, his son Shimea, his son Haggia, and his son Isaiah. These are the men David put in charge of music in the Lord's sanctuary after the ark was placed there. They performed music before the sanctuary of the meeting tent until Solomon built the Lord's temple in Jerusalem. They carried out their task according to regulations. These are the ones who served along with their sons. From the Kohathites, Heman the musician, son of Joel, son of Samuel, son of Elkanah, son of Giroam, son of Eliel, son of Toa, son of Zeph, son of Elkanah, son of Mahath, son of Amasai, 
son of Elkanah, son of Joel, son of Azariah, son of Zephaniah, son of Tehath, son of Aser, son of Ebiasaph, son of Korah, son of Izhar, son of Kohath, son of Levi, son of Israel. Serving beside him was his fellow Levite, Asaph, son of Berechiah, son of Shimea, son of Michael, son of Baasiah, son of Malchijah, son of Ethni, son of Zerah, son of Adea, son of Ethan, son of Zima, son of Shimei, son of Jahath, son of Gershom, son of Levi. Serving beside them were their fellow Levites, the descendants of Mirai, led by Ethan, son of Kishai, son of Abdi, son of Malak, son of Hashabiah, son of Amaziah, son of Hilkiah, son of Amzai, son of Bani, son of Shemer, son of Malai, son of Mushai, son of Mirai, son of Levi. The rest of their fellow Levites were assigned to perform the remaining task at God's sanctuary, but Aaron and his descendants offered sacrifices on the altar for burnt offerings and on the altar for incense as they had been assigned to do in the most holy sanctuary. They made atonement for Israel, just as God's servant Moses had ordered. These were the descendants of Aaron, his son Eliezer, his son Phinehas, his son Abishu, his son Bacchai, his son Uzai, his son Zerahiah, his son Miraioth, his son Amariah, his son Ahitub, his son Zadok, and his son Ahimeaz. These were the areas where Aaron's descendants lived. The following belonged to the Kohathite clan, for they received the first allotment. They were allotted Hebron in the territory of Judah, as well as its surrounding pasture lands. But the city's land and nearby towns were allotted to Caleb, son of Jephunneh. The descendants of Aaron were also allotted as cities of refuge, Hebron, Libna, and its pasture lands, Jater, Eschemoa, and its pasture lands, Hylas, and its pasture lands. Deber and its pasture lands, Ashan and its pasture lands, and Beth Shemesh and its pasture lands. Within the territory of the tribe of Benjamin, they were allotted Geba and its pasture lands, Alameth and its pasture lands, and Anathoth and its pasture lands. Their clans were allotted thirteen cities in all. The rest of Kohath's descendants were allotted ten cities in the territory of the half-tribe of Manasseh. The clans of Gershom's descendants received thirteen cities within the territory of the tribes of Issachar, Asher, Naphtali, and Manasseh in Bashan. The clans of Mirai's descendants were allotted twelve cities within the territory of the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and Zebulun. So the Israelites gave to the Levites these cities and their pasture lands. They allotted these previously named cities from the territory of the tribes of Judah, Simeon, and Benjamin. The clans of Kohath's descendants also received territory within the tribe of Ephraim. They were allotted as cities of refuge, Shechem, and its pasture lands in the hill country of Ephraim, Gezer, and its pasture lands. Jachmeam and its pasture lands, Beth Haran and its pasture lands, Ajalon and its pasture lands, and Gath Rimmon and its pasture lands. Within the territory of the half tribe of Manasseh, the rest of Kohath's descendants received Aner and its pasture lands, and Biliam and its pasture lands. The following belonged to Gershom's descendants. 
within the territory of the half-tribe of Manasseh, Golan in Bashan and its pasture lands, and Ashtaroth and its pasture lands. Within the territory of the tribe of Issachar, Kadesh and its pasture lands, Dabarath and its pasture lands, Ramoth and its pasture lands, and Anam and its pasture lands. Within the territory of the tribe of Asher, Mashal and its pasture lands, Abdon and its pasture lands, Hukok and its pasture lands, and Rehob and its pasture lands. Within the territory of the tribe of Naphtali, Kadesh and Galilee and its pasture lands, Hammon and its pasture lands, and Kiriath Aim and its pasture lands. The following belong to the rest of Mirari's descendants. Within the territory of the tribe of Zebulun, Ramona and its pasture lands, and Tabor and its pasture lands. Within the territory of the tribe of Reuben, across the Jordan River east of Jericho, Bezer in the desert and its pasture lands, Jaza and its pasture lands, Kedemoth and its pasture lands, and Mephaeth and its pasture lands. Within the territory of the tribe of Gad, Ramoth and Gilead and its pasture lands, Maenaim and its pasture lands, Heshbon and its pasture lands, and Jazer and its pasture lands. God, back in uh, chapter 5, verse 20, you say they cried out to God during the battle. He responded to their prayers because they trusted in him. And it's one sentence, maybe a dozen or so words, but so incredibly powerful. I think about my trust in you and I say I trust you and I, I believe that I trust you, but I also know when I truly look at a situation, there's still pieces I'm trying to hold on to or pieces I'm trying to control the outcome of. I, I want certain things to happen. I remember growing up and my mom telling me that all the time. Janelle, I can't believe how determined you are to always have your way. <laughs> and I would always figure out, even sometimes creatively, a way to get what I wanted. Um, probably not the best thing, but that skill set carried over as as an adult. And now in my relationship with you, I hold on to things that I shouldn't hold on to. Uh, trusting you doesn't mean that we get to trust you 99% because that's not really trust. There's still that 1% that we think we can control. You ask for us to give it all over to you to lay everything at your feet, uh, to respond to you humbly, um, to die to ourselves, and trusting you that you will take care of things. God, today I just, I just pray that you help me release those things to you, that whatever I'm holding on to, whatever I'm unwilling to give to you, whatever I actually have the arrogance to think that I can do better than you, please, please let me release those to you. I honestly don't want them. I, I'm not making excuses, but I think a lot of times for me it's bad habits. Um, and, and I need to change those. I want to change those. I want you to be Lord of my universe. I want you to be in control of everything in my life. I want to follow your will. I want to walk the, the path for this amazing life that you have planned for me. And I can't do that if I keep wanting to hold on to things, if I keep wanting things my way. God, God, help me to just relax and open up my hands to you. Open up my hands that are holding on so tightly to the pieces of my life that I still want to control. God, allow me to give everything to you. Every part of my heart, every part of my mind, every moment of my days. God, I trust you. I want to make sure that that's always at 100% and devote my life to whatever it is that you want me to do in this lifetime. I love you very much. 
In your son's name I pray. Amen.